peers and your colleagues. So thank you so much, Haley, for sharing that. Um, building your empire. One of the things that I really have found valuable is to first get clear on what you want. You know, what does this empire look like? What is this empire going to feel like? What is this empire going to do for you? And the number one word that comes to my mind, and I want everyone in the chat, if you believe in this, I want you to write this in the chat then, is freedom. You did not become an entrepreneur to be stressed out, overwhelmed, broke. You came into entrepreneurship because you wanted freedom. Paige, awesome. Paige wants freedom, financial freedom, emotional freedom, purpose-driven freedom. She wants time freedom, right, Mariah? You want freedom. That is the reason why you are building your empire because you want freedom so you can do the things that you want. Barbara, I love that. So this is why strategy versus spaghetti is the topic of today because I do not want you to walk away from this. Freedom to create, I love that, Kelly. I don't want you to walk away today feeling like, oh gosh, a great shark told me to do one more thing and I'm tired. We're all tired. I get it. But what if you're tired because you're doing the right things? So today we're going to focus on strategy versus spaghetti. What does the business do for you? I love that, Haiti. Freedom to make as much money as you want because money is the tool to gift your family a vacation. Money is a tool to give the gift of time freedom. So if your mom or your dad or your child is sick and needs your attention, you don't have to worry about your business. Our clients go on vacation and don't worry about their business. I mean, how many of you would like that? That is exactly what we do for our clients. We give them freedom to go and do what they love. So what does your business do for you? Is your business giving you that freedom? If it's not, then let's talk about it. Let's figure out what do you really want your business to do for you? Do you want to be chained to it every day? Do you want to be miserable every day? Are you struggling because you're not really clear on your purpose? Then that's what we have to solve. Because when you think like a CEO versus an employee, all of a sudden, your business is running like a machine. It's running like operation and processes and systems. It's working for you. I love that, Navita, that it, you want freedom. I want everyone to have freedom who's on this call today because that is where you're going to find true happiness. Freedom to do what you want, when you want, without any rules. And that's why you became an entrepreneur. So thinking like a CEO versus an employee. I don't know if many of you have had the opportunity to be a C-suite executive, to work with corporate America. And if you have, then you're definitely far ahead than a lot of other entrepreneurs who are literally going from employee to a business owner to a CEO. And that's a natural progression, guys, that happens a lot of times when you are coming from a place of, I didn't see my boss do this. I didn't see this company do this. I was sick and tired of following these kind of rules because I didn't feel like those were my values. I want you to know that those are tools but how you use the tools is what's going to get you where you want. So we're not going to do spaghetti where we throw it on the wall and hope something sticks. We're going to think about the strategy. So today I'm going to focus on strategy, strategy, strategy. So when a CEO looks at a business, they look on it to how it can run and operate while he's asleep. He doesn't want to get a call at 3 a.m. He doesn't want to be up and running around where he's not at home with his family. A CEO thinks about processes and systems that they can put in place so that they can repeat success. Haley, when you put a hashtag out there in WEN Summit in the Facebook group, I want that to be one of them. We think about how we can repeat success over and over again. And that's what afforded me this opportunity to be a serial entrepreneur because I could repeat success. And success is the measurement of whatever benchmark you're trying to accomplish in your business whether it's freedom and revenue, freedom of time, freedom of passion, and every other freedom that you want. So when you think like a CEO, I want you to take a step back from your business and I want you to think about it. How can I repeat success? Is my funnel for my marketing repeatable or do I have to customize it every single time? And if you have to touch it every single minute, then I'm gonna tell you that it's because you're not sure of who you are and you don't have clarity about what you're selling. Because that to me is telling me that you're still in, creation mode. You're not ready for execution. A lot of times our clients will say, sure, but I want to do this and I want to do that. And I tell them, great, but let's work on one thing to get success from it so we can repeat success so that it can be consistent and that we can measure it and think what's working and fix what's not. So when you think like a CEO and you're thinking about the strategy, the goal is to have repeat success over and over again. When you're thinking like an employee, you're thinking I gotta do all the work. I'm measuring my week by 40 hours. I only wanna put in so much time into this. I wanna, I wanna spend more than, than make more. 
that is an employee mindset. And you have to give yourself some grace because you didn't know any better. You didn't know that you were thinking like an employee. You were just going through what you knew. And what you knew was to take orders, process them, do the things that were asked of you versus a CEO who takes a step back and asks a better question. And when you ask a better question, you're going to save yourself time and money. And then who really runs your business? A system should run your business. You should not be the reason why your business runs. If you are doing that currently, then this is a perfect time for you to be a part of One Summit and to really take hold of how to build your empire. Because if you're running your business every day, sun up to sundown, then you're really not in business. You have taken on a job. Job versus business owner versus CEO versus skills and systems. How many of you had just an aha moment there? Right now, put it in the chat. If you are a business owner, a CEO, or a slave to your business, I want you to go and give yourself some permission because I'm telling you today, you have the freedom to not continue on this way. So a couple of strategies to get you to be there. One, take a step back. I love it, Kelly. What an aha moment. Take a step back and realize if my business is to run without me, then I'm missing systems and processes. I'm missing a financial team. Barbara, I love that aha moment. What a gift to you. Mariah, what a gift to yourself. I want you to think like a CEO. A CEO lets the business run itself and it literally lets the strategy of what they want be executed. They have a team, they have support, they talk to other CEOs. You don't talk to an employee to get decision making guys you talk to a ceo to, to understand what needs to happen that is the difference when you start leveling up your network you're leveling up who you're being coached by when you're leveling up yourself and running your business like a true business the owner of walmart doesn't run walmart he lets the business run like walmart you never see the ceo behind the cash register because that is not where they need to be they need to set the vision they need to set the systems and processes in place so that the business can run like a business. That is when you know the difference between being a, an employee mindset and a CEO mindset. And when you're running your business, here's a couple of nuggets so that you can pull it from Charlene's little wealth of information of 25 years of being in business, is that the first thing is realize you don't know everything. And you are not supposed to know everything. That's the part I always put in the little disclaimer if you haven't noticed. Second thing, and this is a golden nugget, guys, someone else has a very similar business to yours. If you're going to look and see how to scale and grow a business, look and see at another business who already currently does that. Because guess what? They're going to do a lot of the heavy lifting and work that you don't have time for or money for. Third thing, and I know this is going to be a question in the chat, so I want you to answer here, is who is giving you direction in your business? A lot of you are making decisions because your spouse is telling you to do this or your friends are telling you to do this, or your parents are telling you to do this. Who runs the business? If it's you that runs the business, put it in the chat. If it's your spouse that runs the business, or if it's your mom who runs the business, then you're really not in business because you need to make those decisions. Christine, you run your business. Barbara, you run your business. Janet, you run your business. And if your business is running because you're making these decisions, then you're almost there, guys. But you got to make these decisions based on what your vision is as a CEO and how you want to see this happen so you can get freedom. Paige, me, me, me. Exactly. So guess what? I want you to put this on a post-it. I want this to be a hashtag on When Summit. Is that 100% accountability and 100% of success starts with you. And the sooner you can get that clear, the sooner you're going to realize that success is right there for you. How many of you believe that? You are taking 100% accountability and 100% failure or success, you're taking 100% of that. That's exactly what you are doing in your business. If you're 100% accountable, then you are really ready to become the entrepreneur that you've always wanted to become. If you're going to blame everyone around you, if you're going to blame your mom, a, a past boyfriend, a business failure, a partner, then you're never going to be 100% ready for it. You have to be 100% accountable for your success and your failure and everything else in between. So today, guys, as you're doing your homework, one of the things that I want you to know is that I want you to give me feedback because tomorrow is going to be the day where I've, I really get an indication of who's really serious about their business. 
I want you to select one strategy that you're ready to execute from today's talk in your building of an empire that you want. I want you to pick one. I don't want you to pick 10. I just want you to pick one. Pick one strategy to execute to build your empire. It's all on you, Kelly. It's all on you. It's all on you, Barbara, Janet, everybody. Okay, so as you do this, guys, I want you to realize that we're walking in lockstep, that our partnership, our relationship is going to be based on how successful you're going to be when you are doing one thing well, and then we can repeat that success. If we can't do that, then we're never going to be really ready for success. We're really never really ready for partnerships, really never ready for what our businesses can do for us. So any aha moments, I want to know about them. Put them in the chat, put them there. I want you to share them with me, but I also want you to know that where you're starting today is where I want you to take that momentum and move in that direction. Don't try to figure it all out. Don't try to know everything all at once. Just start where you are, my friends. Start where you are. Your homework tonight is to pick one strategy to execute. I love that. Haley, I am so thrilled about the powerhouse. Look at the chat. It is just not stopping. Mariah, I love it. Plenty of aha moments. Guys, this is what takes 25 years of experience. I'm giving you the playbook. And guess what? I have paid it, but with bumps and bruises, with money and time and with effort. So just know that I'm right there with you. Thanks, Haley, for having me on here. I love the foundation that we are building for all of our page. Thank you so much for all of our WEN entrepreneurs here. I, I love that. I love that, Susan, so much. Thank you. Thank you for the hearts. That's so kind. If there's anything I can do for you, please reach out to me. Reach out to Kimmy and my team, Susan, Kim Allen. I, lo I love all of the speakers that have been here. Thank you so much, everyone.